Welcome guys to the JavaScript course. I'm Chris, your JavaScript buddy. This course is intended for people that have started Angular and people that want to become a professional in Angular. So I've been working with Angular over eight years and I thought, why not create a course to have everything inside one bundle for you guys? I thought this would be a good thing just to put everything that I've experienced, everything that I had in my contracts into one little bundle. Now you may have seen me on YouTube doing different kind of YouTube videos around Angular. So what to expect in this course? Well, we'll start with the basics. We'll learn what Angular is. We'll look at the Angular differences. We'll look at how it runs and debug it. The classes, interfaces, fat arrows, everything that you need from basics of Angular. And then more into an advanced level where we'll look at how to structure an app. And when we're structuring an app, how to scale it, how to think about what happens when you want to scale each part of it. That includes reusable components, white labeling. We'll be looking at different type of state stages that are in Angular. So next we'll be moving into defining master layouts. So when we want to scale an app or build an app that's reusable, we really have to think about master templates, reusable components, dumb components. And then also we'll be looking at things like defining your features, defining master layouts, enhancing a template with ng ifs and else conditions, managing state or role in Angular application. What is a flux pattern? Why is it so common to use now NGRX? Is NGRX the best approach to use? My favorite thing that Angular has done is dependency injections. We'll look into very detail how dependency injections work, how, you actually, how it actually benefits you on writing tests. From NGRX part, we'll look into in detail of how to query store data, how to configure your modules using NGRX schematics, grouping actions to with action types, mapping states in selectors. Following, the, following we're looking at root configuration, how template-driven forms work, and then when we have built a beautiful application, we'll look at how to build it in dev, in UIT, in prod, how actually you configure the whole pipeline to deploy on a cloud service. Now, you yes, you heard it right. I'm going to be speaking about cloud services. And the one I prefer personally is AWS. So in Nita, we'll look at things like serverless files, what is an S3 bucket, what is cloud formation, what is API gateway. This is all related to the application running on a cloud service. Now, of course, my favorite testing, and we're going to cover all of it, the tests, especially in details how you test services, components, your directives, your pipes. And what is Jasmine? And why did I say Jasmine and Karma? Where did Karma came from? What are the differences between Jasmine and Karma? Do I really need a test bit to test my unit tests? Now, don't worry guys. I know it may sound like complicated words, but trust me, I've been there. I've gone through the terminology. And once you understand in simple terms how things work, it's very easy to understand the framework and get, and get up and running in seconds. Now guys, it's not your normal angle, of course. It will have some fun bits in it. Where is fun without coding? So come on guys, let's stretch our fingers and let's start coding Angular.